Wow. It was beautiful. I don't know what to say. Wow. <laughs> Thank you. Amazing. Wow. Thanks. Great. Now I gotta go do Brandon. <laughs> <laughs> today to celebrate life's greatest moments. Today we'll witness the coming together of Brandon and Shelby as they become husband and wife. Who gives this woman to this man? Perfect. A reading from 1 Corinthians. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, and always perseveres. Love never fails. Shelby and Brandon, in just a few minutes, surrounded by your friends and your family, you will pledge your love and commitment to each other for the rest of your lives. And this promise <laughs> we call marriage. The verse we just heard, 1 Corinthians 13, is in the love chapter of the Bible. And though it is beautiful, it's not about romantic dinners and grand gestures. This love it speaks of is the everyday kind of behavior we exhibit, even when we don't feel like it, even when we don't feel loving or lovable. Love always protects, always trusts, always hopes, and always perseveres. Love never fails. In other words, love hangs on. It holds on. You can count on it. And this is the type of love you have for one another. And in trusting your love to one, each other, it will not fail. Over the past few years, you fell in love by chance. But you're, today, you're here because you're making a choice. You are choosing each other. You're choosing to be with someone who enhances you, who makes you smile, and who makes each day better. Brandon, you're choosing to love Shelby, even though she wants Dairy Queen ice cream for the third time this week. <laughs> and Shelby, you're choosing Brandon, even when he spends hours playing video games. <laughs> Hearts. <laughs> even more important than choosing to marry the right person, it's choosing to be the right person. And because of your respect for each other, and in all that life has already thrown your way, I'm confident that the vows you're about to take will remain steadfast and your life together will be a blessing both to you and to all of us here and those around you. So, are we ready to marry this couple? Yeah. All right, let's do it. So, Brandon John Schwanz, will you take Shelby to be your wife, to love her, support her, grow with her, honor, and protect her? I will. Shelby Lynn Della. Will you take Brandon to be your husband, to love him, support him, grow with him, honor and protect him? I will. Shelby and Brandon, you have chosen to wear rings as a reminder of these promises. The ring is a symbol of the unbroken circle of love. As you look at these rings over the years, be reminded of the promises you're making today. Brandon, please place this ring on Shelby's finger and repeat after me. I, Brandon. I, Brandon. Take you, Shelby. Take you, Shelby. To be my wife. To be my wife. My partner in life. My partner in life. And my one true love. And my one true love. I will trust and honor you. I will trust and honor you. I will laugh with you and cry with you. I will laugh with you and cry with you. Through the best and worst. Through the best and worst. Through the difficult and easy. Through the difficult and easy. I promise to choose you every day. 
I promise to choose you every day. For all the days of my life. For all the days of my life. All right, Shelby. I, Shelby. I, Shelby. Take you, Brandon. Take you, Brandon. To be my husband. To be my husband. My partner in life. My partner in life. And my one true love. And my one true love. Too many Dairy Queen visits here. <laughs> hey. I will trust and honor you. I will trust and honor you. I will laugh with you and cry with you. I will laugh with you and cry with you. Through the best and worst. Through the best and worst. Through the difficult and easy. Through the difficult and easy. I promise to choose you every day. I promise to choose you every day. For all the days of my life. For all the days of my life. Well, by the power vested in me by the Universal Life Church, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. <laughs> you may continue to lift up Brandon and Shelby and that you uh, continue to support with your love and support throughout their lives. It is my great honor to introduce to you for the first time Brandon and Shelby Schwanz. Hey baby, you know I'm going to turn you up. Walk a flame. I remember the first time I saw her, I 
I, I, again, I saw this, this kid has courage and willpower and compassion. You can see it in her face already. That continues to work right now. And the second thing I thought when I saw was I've eaten meals bigger than this kid is. Um, Shelby being born in Nebraska uh, is a good thing. It makes her inherently smarter than most of the people in this room. Go get that. As I mentioned earlier, Shelby has uh, got strength, uh, little power, compassion. She's had this throughout her life. I think about it as she was growing up. She, she was involved in, in every imagined sport. She, she did swimming. She did uh, volleyball, basketball, softball. It's about everything she tried. And whenever she was there, if she wasn't the smallest person there, she, she was one of the smallest people there. But she was always right, right in the middle of the action. And I think of uh, basketball in particular. There, there wasn't a shot that Shelby didn't like, and every game she tried to prove that to, to the rest of her teammates. <laughs> and I think of uh, Shelby's compassion for animals as well. Um, I don't know how many of you have ever met Baxter, but his life's better than most kids in this room. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I could bring a letter from their house would be an animal sanctuary. <laughs> Uh, it, it, it continues on with her choice and career. It, it takes a real special person to be a, a, a women's school counselor, and you couldn't pick a better person to do that. <laughs> I remember uh, the first time we met Brandon. She, <laughs> <laughs> he, uh, he, he came to our house, and went, within a couple of minutes, it was like we'd known Brandon his whole life. He just he fit right in. He was resin Shelby's sibling just as much as they were resin him. And he was he was right right in it. And no, uh, as a parent, you want you want your child to pick the right person. And one way I look at it is uh, the the people my daughters choose to date is is would I be friends with them if I was their age? With Brandon, I could say yes. We we hung out. We've been friends. Your friends, no. <laughs>
When your legs don't work like they used to before And I can't sweep you off of your feet Will your mouth still remember the taste of my love? Will your eyes still smile from your cheeks? Darling, I will be loving you till we're 70 Baby, my heart could still fall as hard at 23 I'm thinking about how people f Alright everybody, you